Hey guys, James here today and welcome to a fun video uh, idea, I guess, that I thought I'd do is we're going to try to do a renovation for 10,000 simoleons that I've given myself in the base game with no expansion stuff packs or anything like that. Uh, just seeing what we can do. So we've got this little house. I'm thinking we probably... So I, I, I think loosely based rules, I kind of don't want to change the layout too much. Maybe we can remove a wall here or there. But I think in terms of like the, the kitchen and bathroom like locations, we shouldn't be able to move that. Because if you're renovating a house in real life, typically moving a kitchen or a bathroom is a pretty big task to do just because of all the plumbing. It gets really expensive. Obviously, this is a game and that's not really a thing. But I kind of want to work around that rule. Um, but we could, for example, if we wanted to remove that wall or do something like that to open it up. But... That's a lot of talking. What I want to do is start building. I think I actually want to expand the house. It's probably not going to look great on the outside, um, but I'm going to try and make it look good. I think maybe, well, here's my problem. The roof is kind of annoying me because it sort of comes down the back like that. Uh, and because we're in such a small lot, that's kind of a, it's hard to fix because normally what I do is I'd extend the wall out one further back and then the roof would just sort of overlap and be a little bit easier to work with. But I think what we can do here, instead of doing that, is maybe just get a roof that either goes, we can just go all the way through. We could just do something like that, but that's also kind of annoying because it just sticks out there for no particular reason. But I think that's a little less annoying. But before we do that, I want to actually uh, expand the house because I think I want to add some more rooms or maybe another, or maybe expand the living space just really. Uh, so maybe if we, do we want to just go square? We can even just go for a square house. Like you could just do that, just have a big square. Uh, changing a roof on a house is also pretty damn expensive, but we'll bend the rules on that one. Well, it's not, there's not really any rules to this, it's just me spending 10,000 bucks to, to see what we can build. Uh, do we want to use this roof though? Because that's probably going to look really bad too. Yeah, that's not going to look good. Uh, that's the problem with a square house, a roof becomes a little bit more annoying. Although, I guess what we might be able to do, it might, that's interesting flooring to have under there. What we might be able to do, and it actually might not look too bad, is doing a roof that is just going to be... I know it's not a square, it's a rectangle, but just do a roof that's like this. Obviously a lot lower, not that low. That's That just looks like it's been squished. Probably about there. And then we could even just do a cross. Like that. Something really simple, like just like that. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't know if it fits this sort of size of house. Like, it is, it's fairly... It's small, but it's also big. I think what we could do to sort of break it up a little bit, maybe would be to reduce the size of that extension just back a little bit. And then we could have like a main body roof, which runs this way. And then we can, so then we can, because an L-shaped house is always easier to roof than a square or a rectangle. It just, it always just looks better that way, I think. So if we go like this, just bring it into that roof. That just looks way better. Obviously it's a bit tall, so we'll bring it to like the size of it. You don't want the, the roof to out trying the size of the house, really. You want them to be complementary. I don't know why I said complementary like that. <laughs> complementary. Uh, I'll use the same sort of foundation. I think we might change the uh, the siding on the house, though, because I don't think that color is particularly attractive. We might just uh, maybe give it a coat of paint, you know, air quotation coat of paint. Uh, do we want to go for something like that, though? Or do we want to go? We could even go like a blue. I don't, also, the, the other thing is, I also don't want to change the windows too much. Uh, I realize I've done the same thing over here. Um, I guess we can probably just bring it all the way through. That's probably fine. I don't want to change the windows too much. Maybe, like I said, just give them a coat of paint. Uh, just make them white. Because I feel like as part of a renovation, like changing all that like sort of structural stuff would be a lot of work. But I think in the new extension, we can sort of do whatever we want. Because um, we're adding that onto the house and then everything else we sort of just, you know, spruced up a little bit. I know that it had sort of had more color before, but I think the white just goes a little bit nicer with the rest of it. Uh, we can't really design to all that. We have to just select it and then change it. Let's go like white. White may be a little bit boring, but I think it, it just looks a little nicer, I think is the thing. <laughs> like, rather than the green. The green, I don't know, the green to me just feels dated. Whereas if you just freshen it up, make it nice and bright, it looks a little nicer. Uh, as for the roofing, let's go. Well, I don't know what we had before. I think it was something like, it was one of the, maybe it was this one actually. Was it like that? I think it actually might have been that. But we'll, uh, I mean, seeing as we're redoing the roof anyway, we've got it in the budget to do that. Maybe it was that. I don't know. It was one of these roofings. Roofings? Roofs. It's a nice little, like, little uh, scalloped roofing, is it? Yeah, scalloped or scallops if you prefer, but I would say scalloped. Um, I don't know if that's a bit too much for this, but it's probably fine. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know if I like the color of the siding now that I've done it. It's not really that great, but... I think we should just choose from these colors, which I guess we don't have a lot of choice. 
That's kind of putting us in a hole. I guess we could just change it completely. We, we could. It's like a white. Again, but then, but then we have white windows, which I think is probably too much. At least with the blue, you got a little bit of, like, a little bit of difference in there. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad. Look, okay, it's not, it's not going to be some glorious renovation. It's just not going to be. Uh, so we're going to rip out these windows, because obviously they're going interior-wise now. We'll get rid of these curtains as well. We'll probably change a lot of the interior in terms of furnishing. In fact, I think I'll get rid of most of the big ticket item, like just a standard random furniture around the place. We'll keep the kitchen in place for now. I'll even keep those bedrooms as well for now, because we'll see what we're spending on everything else. So I'm actually going to rip out that wall so it sort of makes this one open space. Because uh, I want to, uh, yeah, I kind of want this to be just a nice open area. And I think I'll, we'll like sort of make it a little bit more contemporary is what I'm thinking. Uh, and for that, I'm going to whip out some of these lights. Just so we can sort of see what we're doing. Oh, it's so much better. Look at that. We can see the colors. All right. Do we want to go? I, I do like I do like the wooden flooring, but I think I want to change it a little bit. Maybe to that. I don't know if I particularly like that one, though. Uh, or maybe one of these. Uh, that, looks a, that looks a little tackier, though. Like, it doesn't look as clean cut. Does this have a lighter color? No, it doesn't. Does this have a lighter color? It does. That looks like a freaking gymnasium or something. These do not look good. I don't like these floorboards. Nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, much like the Future Cube, nope. Probably just the ones I have, I guess. Uh, are, are, are right. I don't know why these don't have a color, though, to them. They don't have any choice. Uh, that's probably the one I want to go for. Anyway, so the walls, we've got to change. We gotta, actually, I guess, hang on, the layout, first of all. We could add another bedroom. The only problem is, if I add another bedroom, we kind of don't. We then we add more people to the house and we have less like we just have less room per person Because we do that we effectively haven't increased the living space at all like look how small it is uh, Which we want more living space. We could add another floor or something. I guess we could even go up But I don't know if we really have the budget to do that Maybe we could hang on. Let's have a look. I'll get rid of that bit of the building for now Actually, no, I won't I'll get rid of this bit because this is probably where I'd want to build on top of. So like here, how much would that cost? 2,000 bucks? Realistically, we could do that. And we could even just turn that into, it's like similar over there, turn that into like a balcony up top. These tools are also, these tools, these walls are also tall. But we don't, I guess you don't save any money by making them shorter, so. Oh, you would save money though, when we put stairs in though, because the stairs would be shorter. I assume smaller stairs are going to be cheaper, right? So if this is going to be like a modern extension, you'd probably want it to be... See, I would... If you're building a new section, you'd probably do like some sort of, uh... Stucco up the top or something. Or it'd be more like a wood paneling extension, but like you... Like you paint over the outside. So maybe we can get like a... It's supposed to be some contemporary extension. Probably even just that, and then have like a floor trim running around it. Just as like a separator. Uh, which I can't really see. Maybe we could, uh... Get this one, but change the color of it. Can I? Oh. There we go. Can I do that and then have it go around here as well? Obviously we'll adjust the roof so it doesn't stick out there. The problem with that now... ...is it can go to there, or we can have it stick out the entire thing. Hmm. Because I like it... ...sort of going under it, but I guess what we kind of have to do then is really bring it all the way back to there. Which is fine. Um... All right, we, we could even, we could do an extension up there. I guess we'd probably want to, you'd probably want to match as much as you could to the existing build. Uh, I was considering doing like a, a balcony roof, but I don't know that we really need to. Might be better just to keep it open. Or we can try and, I guess, blend it into the rest of the neighborhood. Oh, let's repaint these, because these also have this sort of... Oh, we can't really do... Maybe blue. Change it to the blue, I guess. This house has become really blue. Uh, do I want to do columns up here though, I guess is the question. Is that something that... Whoops. We want to do, or is that going to look too... I think that might be too much, really, for the top. I think just leaving it like... That. Oh, hang on, let me put the colors back down there though. That is back to blue. That back into there. That's probably better, because then what we can do... Is we'll, I think we'll keep those rooms down there as they are. Then have this as a living space, and then have... So that won't be like a master bedroom anymore. Maybe we'll have the master upstairs. Oh, yeah, that's right. You heard, you heard me. Uh, and then maybe have the stairs here. 
Uh, but it really cuts the room in half. It's what we don't want to do. Uh, and I don't want to move the... See, the stairs there would also be good. But then we'd have to adjust the hallway a little bit, which is probably... Not, I guess that's not too bad. Because we'd have them there, then it sort of borders the kitchen. The stairs sort of line up perfectly up the top. Then if you have... I'll keep the stairs open to the living room. And we'll just cut into this room here a little bit. Sorry guys, but... I'm gonna have to borrow your room a little bit. Move the door, or not. Sorry. How much money do we have? 8,600. So I think we have plenty to really furnish this up. Now, do I, I guess, do I want to have the hall as like a separate thing and then have like an archway to it? Because it, it's supposed to be like a, a almost contemporary renovation. Oh, that's a really small, that looks really small on the wall. <laughs> like it just looks really short. Like I want it to be a contemporary renovation, but I also want it to be, although the stairs do look weird there, don't they? Like in terms of, because they just look really, they're really tall, like really tall. Maybe we do make the house shorter. Oh, so I don't know what it's deleting. It's deleting something somewhere. Here? I don't know. I can't tell what it's deleting. I, I know the stairs are getting cheap. Hang on, get rid of the stairs. Could we do that? Oh, hang on. We do that and then we bring this down. Oh wait, no, it's not, it's not deleting anything anymore. Okay, never mind. It was just the stairs. Alright, we're good. So we're not losing anything when we do that. I just think it's gonna be better. I mean, I guess realistically speaking, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense um, <laughs> to, to lower the house, but yeah, well, look, we're building within reason. <laughs> we're, we're, we're being realistic within reason, uh, not so much. So those windows actually do still fit, it's just the curtains don't, which is fine. I mean, I guess we could move them down, but or I think we're, we're going to change the interior quite a bit anyway, so let's just do that. Let's just roll with it. Uh, we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of all the decorations and all that. Alright, so the flooring. Um, now let's go for my favorite kind of style, which is real simple. Um, we just want like a... Let me just use this one. That's too dark. It's like a really basic wall covering. And it just looks, that just looks modern with the flooring and the walls already, so that's way better. Uh, I might even keep like this area like, as an old section of the house where they just haven't renovated it because that's kind of cool it adds a bit of character I think that way it's like hey we still got these old rooms that we haven't touched but we've added like we'll we'll refresh the kitchen in that so we'll get like new appliances maybe just give like the cabinets a coat of paint and all that uh well we okay we don't want to spend too much on this stuff because it gets expensive real quick <laughs> 2600 we could spend that much what a stove we could get so how much is that 3900 okay you know what before we before we do that uh because that is quite expensive. Wait, what did we have before? Did we have the actual cheapest? We did. So we could upgrade to the second most cheap. <laughs> the second cheapest. Which actually does look newer and it does look nicer. And then I think we just had, we actually had the worst fridge as well. So we could upgrade a couple of models, but not to the most expensive. So we could just do that. And then these, if we just paint them like white or black, it just modernizes it quite a bit. Or we could even just change the can because I think these are actually quite expensive candles, right? 290. We could go to these ones. Or we could just freshen them up. Because what I would do for a modern kitchen would be have... You either have like white cabinets and like... Bl or white counters and black cabinets or black counters and white cabinets. They usually... Or like gray ones as well usually go pretty well together. I guess you could do gray because then it would go with the appliances. Uh, a little bit darker than that though. So something like that is what I would do. It's quite a common theme here in Australia anyway to have the sort of contrasting counters and cabinets. Uh, I'll just have that overlap with the fridge. I don't know about that window there. I might change that. So if we do that with the kitchen. I guess we'd, you'd change the sink fitting. Which I don't know if I want to change the sink completely to something else because I think that is probably a, an okay sink. So I might even just leave that. Uh, and then go... No, I guess we'll just change these tools. Those are really old looking. Do we want to? We could even we could expand the kitchen if we wanted. Um, change the layout a bit. Maybe even have the cabinets come out to here. Or is that that might be just too big? Now as for tiles, what do we have here? Do we even have tiles in the kitchen? I guess you don't have to because a lot of kitchens these days will just have this sort of like this might be some sort of vinyl flooring that looks like wood, but it's not because it's cheaper to do it this way. We'll just extend it into the kitchen. That'd be fine. I wonder if maybe we should um. At the front door there. So we go right to the kitchen area. I mean, I guess it might be okay to have this extend. Oh, that's an end piece. Hang on. We could have it extend a bit. I don't want to extend it too far, but it just gives you a lot more counter space. And if we can get some sort of shelving there, it would probably look pretty good. 
Maybe even get rid of the stuff underneath it and go like... Uh, I guess you could even just get a counter there and there. And then if we can get like just... There's something on the wall I can put above that, because that would just look like it fits in magically somehow. What do I have in here? Oh, there's all the stuff that sort of disappeared. I guess we should probably keep the utility thing. Um... I guess maybe we can just have it here, under the stairs. Like I said, I was trying to find something to put there. I want to put something else there, maybe like... I don't know, like I feel like there's... Is there something for the kitchen that goes on the wall there? Like what, what exists for kitchens and also goes on walls? Is my question. I might like something like this. Does that sort of blend in? I mean, you could. You could even do something like this. See, I really just want something that would fit, like, perfectly, but th that doesn't exist. <laughs> that just doesn't exist. Um... I don't know, I just want something on the wall. That, that was all it was. I guess with the stairs, I should probably change the color of those too, so they're not... looking weird. Alright, that's gonna go there, and then I guess... Can we, should we do, like, a glass? We should do a glass, right? Make it, like, modern. Like, fwaaah, look at those glass stairs. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that space under there being open, though. So I might actually change that, and I'll change that back to this, and we'll go... Uh, like so... Nope. Uh, what happened? Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> trying to- just trying to recolor those ones. There we go. Um... As for this bin now, I think maybe- maybe the kitchen is too long. I, maybe just one longer, just so it sort of overlaps a little bit, but not too much. That's probably okay, right? Yeah. Alright, can we afford a dishwasher or something like that? Because that'd probably be pretty good. Might move the sink then. No, we'll leave the sink where it is actually. I'll put the- I'll just put the dishwasher there. So it sort of goes with all the appliances, that'll be fine. And then you have all the counter space over that side, look at that, beautiful! And then we can get the stools in. Maybe just like these, these are some of my favorites. White? Do we want to go like a full white? We could just go full white. Nah, it's a bit boring though, isn't it? Move to the black. <laughs> it's a bit boring. Let's go black. All right, let's gonna go there. And then we'll, I guess we'll have a dining table here at the start, like at the start, the entrance of the house. Then the living room can be over there. I guess we should figure out the windows on this place. Let me get rid of these things. Get rid of that light. We'll get this utility thing back in though. Do they really need all that space? I swear they do. They even ever use this? I don't actually because I feel like this is just an automatic thing. I'm just gonna put it there and assume that it'll work. Um, <laughs> just assume that that will work. Okay, windows. I guess do we want to try and match the windows? I make it look like a seamless extension to the house? Probably. Really, you should have a window there, but it's not going to fit there, so we'll forget about that. I guess if we just do that, that's fine. That's all you need, really. Then up the, up the top, I might do different windows, though. Alright, so if that goes there, let's just figure out the layout upstairs, because I want to have... Well, I don't want that light there. That was obviously from downstairs. I want to have, I guess... Oh, we've got a lot more room up here than I thought. Like a master bedroom, and then like... We can have like two huge rooms up here. Those are exactly the same size. Not really what I want though, because I don't want two identical rooms. I want one that's going to be... Maybe we can have a bathroom here. And then a bedroom like this. And maybe that's an ensuite, and then you could have like two bedrooms over that side. So then you'd have like master bedroom, a couple more bedrooms. And it'll be okay. That window needs to be a little bit lower. From the outside, anyway. Doesn't really need to be that high, I don't know why it is. There we go, just lower the window a little bit. Um, alright, so up the top, do, yeah, again, do I want to match the windows? No, I don't think I do, I think I want to do different up here. But I don't want them to be, like, super modern, because they should, they should at least, like, go with the style of the house, but I don't think they need to be the same window. Now, the problem is when we have the double wide windows, those are a little bit more complicated, because we gotta get a window that's gonna fit in. I guess one with a shutter would fit, right? So we just get the smaller sort of shuttered windows. That ideally needs to go right there, but there's a thing in the way, so... There's a hallway there, so you can't, can't really window this area. Unless we do use the same window in this case, and go like there and there. Oh, actually, it'll have to be there. But then it's, the windows are all over the place. <laughs> Man, that looks weird. Well, I mean... It's a renovation. It's not supposed to be the most glorious looking place in the world. Or maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. We'll paint that white though. Hmm. Nice. Look at this. It's stunning. <laughs> really, really good. Alright, around the back, I guess we're gonna get a couple windows there. I don't know why there's not a window down the bottom there, but... I can't really put one in. Around the front, we'll do the same sort of thing. I guess there and there. We'll just get... 
Oh, and then it's three wide in the middle and it wants to be a door there, but... There's not really a three wide window I could put there. I guess we could do, instead of that, we could get the single windows. Okay, so get rid of the shutters altogether. Get these windows. Like this. Instead. It looks really bland on the front though, doesn't it? Like it just looks really... Blank? Like there's nothing there? <laughs> like that's what it looks like, right? Uh, maybe we can get like, oh, we can't do freezers because the roof's not high enough. I guess if we do flooring up top, I got 4,000, but I don't have a lot of room for this renovation, uh, room, a lot of money for this renovation anymore. Well, this is free, so that doesn't matter. So we'll get some flooring up the top, because that will allow us to do a floor trim. Hopefully giving this a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. No, that one. We do that, we're going to have to lower all the windows just a smidge. Maybe like that. So you still have the detail in them. Uh, okay, camera. Can you just work with me here? Thank you. There we go. And then this also lowers down over here. Okay, so then it just has like some sort of floor trim details. Like, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look as blank on the front now, at least, which I think makes it look a little bit better. All right, so then we got 3,000 bucks left. Uh, I guess what we're gonna have to do is start getting some furniture in this place. I think the upstairs extension is probably too big and we're not gonna be able to uh, completely furnish this place. It's a little, it's a little much. Uh, but we'll get the same, just for the hallway, we'll get the same sort of walling. And then maybe in the rooms if we can do like, do they have like subtle colors of this? Do you like that sort of, that color there, maybe like a green? Is that too, is that too colored though? It's pretty full on. Uh, is that the same color I already used? Yeah. Could use like a yellow. See, the, I think these colors are a little... A little strong. If they're a little bit more pastel, it might look a bit nicer. But you know what? I think we'll roll with it. It's part of, it's part of the extension. Just, just okay. Uh, right, the bedrooms and that. Well, the bathroom, I think I'll do the same sort of flooring. So it's like a vinyl flooring. Like, imagine it's vinyl. Obviously in the game it says it's wood, but let's pretend it's vinyl. Um, I mean, you could have a wooden floor in the bathroom anyway, but that's not as common. Uh, let's get out just some carpet then for the rooms. Maybe the slightly darker one, just for those rooms. So these are like the modern bedrooms, and we have the older ones downstairs, which we'll pretty much leave untouched. Uh, so then, hopefully, we should be able to have, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Sims living in this place, then, because we'll have two double bedrooms and then three single bedrooms. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know that we're gonna have enough seating for everyone, but <laughs> we'll roll with it. Uh, all right. So over here, I guess we'll figure out. I guess probably on this wall here is where we'll have the TV and that. So if we go. I don't know that I want it to be white. The thing is, the th here's the thing, that white just goes with everything. If we just go grey as well, that also works. Maybe we should do it this side. No, it cuts off too much of the room. So we can get the couch over here, a little bit off the wall. This back a bit. And then we can get a smaller one over this side. Because then you have a lot of seating. You have a lot of seating. Which is what you want. Maybe just like that. Look at that. That's a lounge room and a half. All right, uh, that's what I'm gonna go with, apparently. Uh, and then we're gonna get this out in the middle. It's a real basic one. Jesus, $900. Where did all my money go? Did I just spend it on all couches? Okay, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> okay, we need doors. <laughs> we need doors. Okay, these are all double doors. We can't use these, obviously. Uh, well, this is upstairs. This is the extension, so we'll use simpler doors, more basic. All right, so door to there. Oh, the problem is they only have one bathroom. Well, I mean, we have two bathrooms, I guess. But one is like, this is going to be the ensuite bathroom though, which is I guess a bit of a problem. Because that means we only have one bathroom for four bedrooms. Ah, screw them, who cares. It's my budget renovation. Oh man, we are real low on cash. Alright, this, this money ran out quicker than I thought. Well, here's the thing, we also don't need, that fence is expensive. We also, wait, how much is that compared to, that's 69 bucks. How much is a half wall? Because I think that's cheaper. <laughs> 30 bucks. All right, this will save money. Okay, here's where we start getting into the budget aspect of this this renovation, I guess, is now that we're running out of money, uh, we're gonna have a bit of trouble trying to finish this off. Uh, well, if we can get like the like the, all the basic needs stuff done. Right, I'm gonna change all these lights, because obviously all these lights are super expensive. I'll put them in there so we can see. Uh, and same down here, I'm gonna get rid of that. And that one as well, actually, that's a crap light. All right, let's go to nighttime, just so we can light up the place more appropriately. Now we've got like... 1700 bucks, which is way better. So we can use all the cheaper lights. So these ones up there that actually light up the place really well are naturally very expensive. 
How about the Prestige? That's disgusting. This one's okay, but like in terms, this one's okay in terms of the way it lights up a room, but it's it's an ugly looking light. I think our best bet is probably gonna have to be wall lights because they tend to be cheaper, uh, and they usually work out pretty well. Not that, no, or that. That's ugly. What did I use in the other build when I did the renovation? I think I used um these. Oh, they don't. This is just a big space. I think I kind of have to use. At least in this space down, the bedrooms upstairs we don't have to. But in this space down here, I reckon I need to use these guys. So that would be in the middle of that section. Then we'll get one in the middle of this section over here. Which is going to be there? No, there. So that'll be fine. So that's 300 bucks on lights. But upstairs we'll use wall lights because it's a smaller space. So it should be alright. Uh, so I think maybe, what's a homely looking wall light? None of these really. They all look like they're weird. They're either like super old or like super weird. Like, I don't know that, that you'd really have that in your house or that. Or that. Or that. I guess some people do. Or that. What, what the hell is this? I just want like a really simple light that looks okay. This is the one I usually use because it's, I guess it's not too crazy. So I might actually just use this one. So if we go over here, this one's a nice wall to put it on too. Over there. And then we'll change the color of these lights, I think, because they're pretty warm. Oh, I guess it's all right, because it's for their bedroom. You probably want a warm light anyway. How much are these? 60 bucks. So even with two of these, it's still cheaper than getting one of the other lights. Which I actually need two in here anyway, because of the, the corner in the room. Uh, I don't know where the door for this is going to go. Probably there. And the bed will probably go here, I reckon, just because that's the biggest space that we have. Uh, and then over here, we can get a light into the hallway, maybe at this end. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll leave these lights. Oh, wait, we're gonna need two lights, or we have to get one right in the middle to light up the whole space. Probably about there. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. All right, that's good. And then downstairs, so <laughs> downstairs a little little sad. Uh, but let's get the beds in first. These are gonna have to be cheap beds uh, because we don't have a lot of money uh, at all. So <laughs> they're gonna have to be cheap. All right, let me turn move objects off real quick. So this is gonna go here. Lovely. It's not going to go like that color, because you don't want it matching with the walls. Maybe it's like a dark... Ah, these I forgot how terrible these all are. It's, it's going to have to be a darker one, otherwise it's just not going to work. Really need decoration in that room to make that look nicer. Right, over in these rooms now, we can get a bed like here maybe. I'm just putting it in the middle because it's, it's a bit different, it's a bit unusual. Could do that. We can't afford another bed. And we certainly can't afford a bathroom. So yeah, this renovation was a little more expensive. Than we probably wanted it to be. Also, we don't need a balcony. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this balcony because, first of all, there's nowhere to put a door because we've got two bedrooms there. And we can save money on the fence. Let's get rid of it. And also get rid of this floor. Nope. I wanna change it to uh, the free floor. How do I get the free floor out? Um, these are all four bucks. Because it's like. When you place. You know what? I'll get rid of that. Because when you place flooring. Pretty sure it was free, right? Yeah, plus zero bucks. If we, uh, it's tw why, why is it twelve there? Because I'm changing the wall. Oh, because I'm getting twelve bucks back because I changed the wall. I think. Um. Oh no, I removed the floor trim. Whoops, hang on. That's fine. We'll put the floor trim back. Fifty-two bucks. So now the floor is free there. And then what I was gonna do is just put a roof on it, so we have like a little porch roof again. Uh, don't get rid of my window, please. Uh, we'll just remove that side of the roof. Again, I don't want to remove the windows, so I'm going to go... Oops. Go there, and then I'll just adjust it up so it doesn't remove windows. About to there, all the way along. That, and then that. Okay. Yeah, alright, that saved a bit of money. Now we've got $775. <laughs> alright, so if we're doing that instead, we can afford another bed, which is good. Uh, alright, this room here. I don't know that I particularly want to use this bed, but it's just the one I've pulled out. Um, maybe just that? I don't know. So, it's like, it, they're boring. Look, they're boring rooms. I'm not- you're, you're right, I'm not gonna lie. Um, now, upstairs. Can we afford to get an ensuite bathroom? Because that's- no, we can't. <laughs> that's what we need to do. We can get a sink as well. But we need, like, a tub or a shower, which is gonna cost us at least 250 bucks. 275. 
All right, where else can we scrimp and save? We can probably get rid of, how much is this? 290 and that's 180. Maybe we get rid of that and replace it with a two seater just because I think that was too big anyway. But if we could afford it, I would put it in, but we just can't. Uh, so we'll get a bathtub up here. Get that over there. Lovely. Oh, man, this is shoestring budget right here. Get, get a toilet roll. I would love to go through and decorate this with actual furniture, but it's kind of it's it's kind of killing me that these rooms are empty and look really bland. But there's nothing I can do. I guess maybe. Ah oh no, but I've I've committed to having all that space at the top there now. Uh, so if we made the extension smaller, but then we have to get rid of what we've done, and I don't want to. I want to keep those rooms because I like it. It's good space. Uh, we could. I mean, we could like sell items, but I again, I wanted to leave those rooms the same because I didn't want to change them too much. Maybe we. Scrimp and save on the appliances. Maybe we go back. Maybe we get rid of the dishwasher. Because that was quite a, that was quite a hefty purchase, as you can see. We don't even have a TV in this place. But I think what we do need... So that's fine. I'll leave those for now. We do need a dining table, because I've gotten rid of that. So maybe we get out of dining table. Problem is, it's right by the, the bloody front door. So it's like you sort of walk into the dining room, which is not ideal. So I don't want it to be... Oh, I guess white chairs are probably fine. Because I didn't want it to be too land in here but you know what we've committed to it do that do need move objects back on again please it's gonna be there it, the problem is the front door is like right there it's like opening into the table maybe I get rid of that so we'll move it over that way a little bit so then the table can sort of be tucked over this side I don't know if I want it white maybe the table should be if it looks like a more of a gray looking table it'd probably be better because the white wall right behind it is not helping us. I think maybe we can get the wall. Maybe the wall should be gray. Like that wall should be gray. And then if we could get, if we can afford some greenery, like greenery, green and gray go together really, really nicely. So if we can get like green in front of it, 105. Uh, but that's kind of what I want to do. Like, cause I just want greenery cause it just makes it, it makes the gray like really look really nice. Can that be in a different, I got like red on that and maybe. Just leave that white. Those chairs are just maybe black chairs. Black chairs look really, really dark. Those are my problem. But at least it adds a little bit of intrigue. So you probably gray chairs would be better. No, oh, but then I mean they have gray on the gray walls. That's all right. Like it's not. The, look, it's not the best. Working with what we got, because at least the chairs then match the stools, which is kind of good. Uh, as far over here, there's not much I can do with this space because I don't have any money. Uh, we can get this rug out and like make it bigger. Put it there, I guess. Just to have something. I don't know about that particular color, but... We could get like a... Ooh, like that. Maybe change these. Uh, maybe keep those white. Oh, now do we have too much white again? So if we could get green in here, not green sofas though, because that... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe we take a risk with the green sofas. Instead of having green plants, we have the green so Actually, that kind of works. I'm going to be honest, that kind of works. I like it. Can I put this this way? This rug's just a little... It's a little long. So it looks a bit... Maybe if we just move the sofa right back on the wall. That's probably all right. Maybe if we move this whole thing back as well. Just so it's sort of all tucked together. And then we could, you could eventually get a TV there. But we only have 95 bucks, so we can't, we can't do that. But hey, I think we have everything you need to live, though, at least. So we, we did a little bit of a renovation. Base game only, 10,000 bucks. I mean, we do have new usable bedrooms upstairs. I just don't really have anything in them. Uh, but there you go, $10,000 renovation for this build. Uh, it now is $43,000 in value. What a, what a home. What a, what a bargain. If you want to have seven Sims, is that right? We got, we got I think we can get seven in here, right? We go one, two, three, and then we go four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, a TV would probably be useful though. I mean, we renovated the kitchen. That's kind of nice. Got a new fridge and that. How much did that cost? That That's probably where a lot of our money went to the appliances. Yeah, it's like $2,400 just in appliances. So almost a quarter of the budget was just appliances. And then obviously the extension here and up the top. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. All right. Well, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video at least. It was some sort of little build process that we did. So thanks for watching guys. <laughs> Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. But I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.